Hey everybody, it's Allison here, and I do have a few wallets to show you, some more pre-made wallets. Um, some of them are, I'm, got, I'm just calling them kind of like DIY wallets, because you kind of have to finish them off. They're kind of like wallets I never really got around to finishing, or they're, yeah. So anyways, I'm just going to get into it. So I have, first up I'm going to show you two women's wallets, and um, with these, if I owe you something, like if I owe you something big, then you can trade them in. But like if I owe you just like a pencil case or something, then I can't trade them in because it wouldn't be worth it. Plus I'm making a lot of pencil cases today. So, um, yeah. So if you have a pretty intense design and you want one of these women's wallets, then let me know and I can trade them. So, and if you would like to buy these flat, then just send me a message. So the first one, it doesn't actually have snaps. It's kind of like... They actually fell off because it was too much duct tape for them, and I put them on wrong. Um, so the inside's white, and it has an ID with very nice plastic. Uh, pen, I mean, not a pencil case. A coin pouch right there, and it is magnetized, but it's really small magnet. And I actually did use this wallet, um, not for a very long time. But when I was using it, I did put my debit card, like, I think in one of these pockets. It was on this side, and it never messed it up. So the magnet's so weak, like, it's, it barely even holds on to itself on this. So then you have two billfolds, and it's Baroque and white on the inside. And then you have eight pockets. I think they look really nice. So this is this wallet. Next up, we have the famous accordion wallet. So it has a huge pocket here, um, two pockets here, the big accordion pockets, um, a huge coin pouch, and um, it has a pocket right here, and then a billfold here. And it has five pockets and an ID. And this is my old plastic, but it's still really good. It's like my good real plastic type stuff. So that's that. And then um, I'll probably put some blue on the outside just to finish it up. So message me if you want to buy those or trade them. Next up, I have this clutch. and um, Or if you want to trade these, these only count as one. Because if you want one of these wallets that I'm about to show you, and... Um, you want to trade them in for an order that I owe you, then you can pick two. But for those, you can't. And for this one, you can't either because this actually took a really long time. So it's a clutch. It's really big, and it's blue and white. If you want to buy this, this is $15, and that includes shipping. So next up, I'm going to show you kind of like the DIY wallets. Um, they're pretty cheap. They're a good price, and you're able to fix them up yourself. So um, this one's $4. It's really nice, no fold over lines. Uh, the trim's pretty good. And it's supposed to be an Elmo wallet, but um, I never really got around to making the Elmo. So it has three pockets, and they do all fit cards really nicely. It has a pocket up top. But the thing is, is that it doesn't have an ID. So if you bought this, you'd have to put in an ID, and that's it. So, and then you can tell all your friends you made it. Because I don't care if you want to tell them you made it, that's okay with me. And, um, oops, I don't know what that's doing, but, so it's super thin. Um, next up on the DIY wallets, this one is $7. So, the problem with this one is that I didn't put trim on the pockets. So it has one, so they kind of stick until you put trim on it. Two, three pockets, but the cool thing about this wallet is that it has two hidden pockets, a pocket up top, and an ID. And this was back when I used um, um, paper protector type thing. So it's still good quality plastic, but it's it's not as like not what I use now. And it's clear on the inside, so it's really thin. And this is only seven dollars, so this is like a great deal for such a good wallet. And the pockets are nice and really even, so it'll help you put on nice trim. Next up, this one, um, I'm kind of debating on the price. I was thinking like maybe $8 for it, $8 or $9. So it looks like this. has two billfolds. 
and then it has this on the inside. So I never got around to putting anything on this side, um, but I did. It was supposed to be a Mario wallet, so I made this already for you, which is which. This took me around an hour to actually cut out and like trim this out. It took forever for some reason, and um, so yeah, I've never seen this anywhere else. I think it's really cool. It's a pocket and everything. Um, I saw duct tape stuff do his like spider pocket, so I thought, oh, I could do that from like for like something else. So, um, and then you could put something right here, like an ID, some more pockets, so you get to kind of design it yourself. So it's probably gonna be like eight dollars. So that's it for the DIY wallets. Now I have a few more things. So the first one I have my is my duct tape painting, and this is gonna be ten dollars. And it has gold around here. And then I cut this out. And it took a pretty long time. I think it looks really nice. And then I did um, draw on a shadow. I think that looks nice. And then it has a New York skyline. And that's trimmed in um, rock tape with gold on the bottom here. So I actually think it looks really nice. And it's signed by me and dated. So this is ten dollars. Next up for ten dollars, we have this girl wallet, and I'll, I'm gonna put on clear tape before I send it. And it's clear on the inside. Uh, as you can tell, I did make this a while ago because it has my old style pockets. So it's one, two, three pockets, two hiddens, a pocket up top, and an ID. And my ID is the page protector, like I used to use. This is $10, and it's pretty thin. Um, the fold, though, is, like, slightly off, if you can see. So, yeah. Um, this one is only $3. It's not really that great of a wallet. I want to be surprised if it doesn't sell. But it's pretty cool if you want to, like, mess around with it and try and update it. So it's clear on the inside. It's a tri-fold. Like, you can take out some of these components, because it does have a snap. So you might want to like keep that or something. So I guess this might be this would be like a DIY wallet too. So the trim isn't really folded over, which I don't know why I did that. So it looks like this. And I tried like the wraparound pocket. So it has two pockets here. It has a huge ID. As you can see, and it has pretty thick plastic, I guess. It's my little um, page protector. Then when you pop this up, it has this huge pocket in here, so you can, like, hide cards. You can do anything, really, with it. And then it has kind of, like, a hidden pocket right here, where if you put your card down and then push this down, it kind of hides it. And this snap is really good on this. And it folds like this, and then like this on the other side. So this is $3.00. Next up, this one seven dollars. It's digital camo billfold, digital camo lined in purple on the outside, and then the inside is chrome and purple. So you have two pockets. I mean, three pockets, a hidden pocket, a pocket up top, and an ID. And this is with my old good plastic. So it's it's basically kind of like the stuff I have now, except it's not frosted. So that's that. And then we have this wallet. Um, it'll go for $7 as well. It's kind of like a watercolor wallet. I try to make it look kind of like watercolors by like just watering down everything. I think it looks really cool. And it's all um, silver duct tape. So it has three pockets. Pocket up top. Hidden pocket and an ID. And because it is the silver, it's super thin. As you can see. Like, without even pushing it down, it's super thin. Um, next up, this one's going to be $10. It's really cool. It has checkered and blue, I mean, blue and black checkered on the outside. A Ziploc coin pouch on the front here. It's like this. And this is the side, like when you close it, this is the side facing you. Billfold is blue. Um, two pockets. Um, an ID with really good plastic. And a hidden pocket. Next up, this one's also $10. It's blue plaid. Um, bill, blue plaid billfold. Blue, pad, blue plaid billfold. Two pockets on each side and a hidden pocket on each side. Next up, um, 
This one, I don't really like the color combo on it. Um, this was when me and my little brother were, like, practicing doing, like, the paint splatter thing. Um, and Rachel's Crafts came up with a paint splatter. I accidentally called her Rachel's Wallets in the other video, but it's Rachel's Crafts, I believe. Yes. So, um, we have this one. Uh, the, I mean, this is what it looks like on the inside. So, I'm selling this for only $4.00. So you can like cover this up or something, but I don't know if this will sell. So it has this on the inside. And do Lots of stuff. But this, the paint spatter on the outside doesn't go with the inside. So I don't really like it. But if you like it, then that's okay. Hopefully someone will want to buy it. So yeah, if you would like to buy any of these wallets, just let me know. And I'll set you up to buy. You can buy with PayPal or cash. Just let me know if you want to buy with cash so I can reserve it for you. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys like this video and thanks for watching. Bye.